it's Game Master 1598 through doing another playthrough. Uh, this time for my next Let's Play, I'm going to be doing Tiny Toon Adventures uh, Buster Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo system. Um, basically, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to get a small Let's Play out of the way while I try to establish a more... What is it? A longer Let's Play in general. This game's pretty short and pretty entertaining, that's why I decided to do this. So, anyways, let's go through the beginning of the game. Now, I'm going to be playing on the normal difficulty, and I'm only going to be doing one level per segment. So, and just wanted to get that out. So, every um, scene starts out like this, where you have Buster, who will always be in these scenes, explaining about different scenes that they're going to be going through. In the first scene, you're going through Acme University, which is basically the school that they go to in the TV show. The TV show itself was very popular in the uh, 90s had about three seasons before it was cancelled. I remember that it used to be on Nickelodeon a lot, and then the WB picked it up and stuff like that. But I remember when I was a kid, this was one of my favorite shows that I watch all the time. So, the first scene is, apparently, Buster is late for class and has to go. So, I'll explain the controls. Basically, Oh, that was weird. I've never had that glitch before. So, as you can see, you have a life meter and you have a dash bar. Basically, the dash bar you can use by pressing L or R and you basically run. And then you can also jump and do like a kick when you press, I believe, it is the Y button. So, what you want to do is go underneath these stairs. Buster. There we go. Now that clear carrot that I just got increases our life meter on the top of the bar. Now, because this is a level video game, whoa, because this is a level video game, your life bar will go back to three at the beginning of the start of the next level. Pretty normal for most games. Alright, so, this is basically a tutorial stage on how to use your abilities and stuff like that. Ah, I hate that. Sometimes you have a full dash meter and you just have enough to get through there, but it doesn't always work. It's kind of annoying. So, basically in the tutorial stage, you're just trying to understand your abilities and stuff like that. Pretty simple enough. Gotta watch out for those enemies, though. They're kind of pop up out of nowhere. Now, this game is not really difficult. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, there are some difficult parts. The second level, I remember when I was a kid, was almost impossible to do. It was a ridiculous game. It's not really a game for beginners. It's really for people that are more experienced in the gaming world, unlike myself when I tried playing this game when I was a kid. But, then again. So, here we have a mini-boss. Err, uh, so this is Arnold. Basically, guy sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger from, um, you know, the actor, but... He's just basically a guard dog of Montana Max. Like, if you really watch the TV shows, you'll be very familiar with the characters. There we go. Got a key. Oh yeah, and these stars. Basically, you collect the stars, and when you get 100, you get an extra life. It's the equivalence of Mario or Sonic for you. But, yeah. Ah, new. Damn. There we go. Didn't want to do that. Yeah. So, basically, when you dash, you can run off walls and stuff. I didn't explain that much earlier. But, by doing this, you can basically exploit secrets and stuff like that. I'm trying to... There's like an extra life up here. Ah. Ah, whatever. There we go. And then we're already off to the first boss. 
So this is Hampton. He's basically a quirky pig character. Yeah, it, Tiny Toon Adventures had a lot of uh, characters that uh, reflected the uh, ones from the original. Ah. Darn it, I'm having a brain fart right now, sorry. Basically, all the characters from, like, the original, uh... Damn, I can't even remember right now. I have to get back to that. I I'm really bad with references and stuff like that. Alright, so, the first boss is Dizzy. Basically, what you gotta do is, you gotta fill him with food. And the only way to do that is to, basically jump and hit this conveyor belt and knock food into it. There we go. And after a number of times after you film with food, he will do this spin thing. Er. Oh crap, I gotta go down. Oh god. So yeah, it, Spin attack is really annoying, and you can usually dodge it by hiding in the corners of this conveyor belt thing. But, I think, I don't know how many hits it takes, I believe it's like, ten or so. Oh crap, he's not gonna make it to the next level. Alright, come on, go through. There we go. So, you, basically the equivalent of this fight is, you don't want to touch Dizzy, and you want to get him full of food as much as you can and as fast as you can. Alright, come on. Uh, he's not gonna make it to another level again. Like usual. There we go. Alright, like usual. Come on, Jesse, hurry up. It's a tedious boss fight, but it's pretty simple and it's easy enough for a tutorial stage. There we go. Yeah, so after you get the fight, you go into this automatic cutscene where uh, Buster goes all the way to the left-hand side of the screen, and then Dizzy starts talking. Yep. Yeah, poor Hampton, he doesn't get any food for lunch. So, anyways, now we're going into the next part of this game, which is the minigames. Now, basically, this is, it's explaining it, it's basically the game spins, and then you just, it's a roulette reel. Once you press it, you get a minigame. Now, which one will I get? Ah, yes. This one's kind of annoying. Now, this is kind of a hard game to play. Uh, what the hell do I have to play? Yeah, it's basically you're playing bracket. It's just... It's very annoying. I remember when I was a kid, I was never able to get this right. I still suck at this game. Even as a kid, I sucked. It's not the easiest game in the world. And it's just kind of annoying. You have to get 15 hits in order to get an extra life. It's one of the more difficult mini games in order to get extra lives. There's a lot easier in this uh, mini game cycle. So you just gotta keep it in the back and forth. Hopefully get in 15 in a row. Yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait until the time runs out. Ah, come on! I want the timer to run out, Jesus! There we go. And 
not so many games. So, anyways, next up we're gonna be starting the next stage. So, I'll see you guys then.